uh, for folks who may not know or younger folks yep. who might be listening, Norma McCorvey is Jane Roe of Roe v. Wade, 1973, who's now pro-life pro and, and Catholic. Catholic. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but at the time, she was a bit of a floozy, and she was, uh, she was running around. She just went to a bar, picked some guy up, went home, got pregnant. Uh, the, her case, which was championed by Sarah Weddington, who was this crazy, you know, pro-abortion murderous attorney who argued the case in front of uh, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, styled the case as though she had been gang raped by six, I think it was six or seven, black men because of the temperament yeah. of Texas in the 1960s. Remember, this was in the 1960s. This, you know, <laughs> the thing is that you know, a lot of people don't realize is that uh, you know, Jane Roe, Norma McCorvey's baby, was actually born. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they, they didn't give an abortion. That was the whole point of the case. They wanted to use that story as a way to make abortion. And of course, went up so, to the I mean, Supreme so, Court so, and became so, a case. So what we actually have here is we have a situation where this liberal demonic sacrament of abortion was put in place through lies, deceit, treachery. You didn't get what you actually said you wanted, but that wasn't mattered because what you wanted was just to kill babies. And oh, you did it by racist lying. Yeah, yeah. Happy fun times, liberals.